<laughs> oh my lord! I think I have actually found my new favorite racer. And honestly, I prefer Rosalina over Peach for some reason. Peach is always a dumbass in distress, and Rosalina is basically God. Alright, special cup. This is the fourth and final cup in the new courses variety, so every other course will be old and from the other games, and quite frankly, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the old courses, see how they remake them and such. But I guess we'll have to find out and see then. Oh, hold on a sec. Cloud Top Cruise. Um. This looks nice. Besides the Bowser ships, this looks very nice. What the fuck is that horn? Love this theme. You know, I can't help but notice that there are beanstalks growing around the trees. That's weird. No, there's beanstalks growing around the clouds. Why do I say the trees? There are beanstalks growing around the clouds. Speaking of beanstalks, I just finished Kirby Triple Deluxe. And by lord! That was an amazing boss. Like, I'm honestly going to say that Queen Sectonia is one of the most inventive bosses and actually the most challenging I've ever seen come out of a Kirby game. Like, if you're not careful, she is going to kick your arse. And I mean, really. Queen Sectonia, like her first battle, killed me twice because I did not know what I was doing. And I should have because I was playing six other worlds. My stupidity. Come on, what do I get? Something good. Why does this game keep giving me money? I am gonna be one rich bitch by the time this is done. I swear I'm going to be one rich little bastard. Seriously, though, the amount of money they give you is ridiculous. The game is spoiling you. Oh yeah, and I think I've just unlocked, like, this, the other, like, I think there's only two new characters in this roster, and E3 says it's this one, Baby Rosalina, and Pink Gold Peach, which you just saw me using earlier, so, I'm guessing none of the other characters are new, or maybe E3 decided to mislead me and there's some surprises along the way. I do hope that's the case, because some of these new characters are pretty well designed. Hang on. What is music? <laughs> this music alone is sweet. Sounds so triumphant. Gives me a, gives me a real sense of accomplishment. <laughs> that doesn't bow. A freaking blue shell. Thank God I landed in time. Otherwise, it would have been a long ass fall. Bring up the map and Luigi is not far behind me. Glory Hog thinks he can take the spotlight. Hang on, do you hear that? You brilliant bastards! Like, that music was a part from a song in Super Mario Galaxy. And, like, it was one of my favorite. It was one of my favorite songs in the game. Um, Cloudy Clayper? I, I can't remember what it's called. But it was quite a nice world. It was actually a very nice world. And the, and the music was brilliant. It was so very perfect and so very triumphant. Bone Dry Dunes. What? How is a ship sailing on quicksand? 
By all my accounts, this should not happen. Unless this is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, there is no way that that can happen. I say the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is because there was a dungeon in that game called Sandship. Like, if you haven't gone that far yet, spoilers. When you're looking for Nehru's flame in the Nehru Desert, you you come across a dungeon called the Sand Ship, and like, it's a it's a ship swimming on a sandy environment. Unless you activate the Time Shift Stone, then it'll become how it should be swimming on water. And then, I would say that Sand Ship was a very hard dungeon because the the whole Time Shift Stones puzzles. And those kind of screwed me up a little. And then you got that boss, Tentalus. They're seriously ripping off Celia from Monsters Inc. with that design. Because Tentalus has tentacles for hair. And this giant freaking eye. I mean, sure, it's not exactly like Celia, but... You, you get what you get in this world. Speaking of getting, I am getting a GCSC tomorrow, so you guys are going to have to wish me luck for that. It's a GCSC on maths, and it's a higher paper, so it's basically as tough as it can get. I just hope that I'm ready for it. And I swear to God, that plan, that plan came very close. Now, I think by my standards, like from my experience of the with the Mario Kart games, there's a Bowser Castle and a Rainbow Road in every game. So I'm guessing it's going to be Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road as the final two courses. It would make a lot of sense. And even though it's always been a Bowser's Castle and a Rainbow Road, they always give it a different design with every game. And I'd actually love to see what they do with Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road for this game, because it's looking, it's looking, qu it's looking quite nice so far. Also, I'm pretty sure Nintendo is just... I mean, sure, Nintendo's getting very inventive characters, but... I want to know on what grounds how this is possible. Unless Nintendo have the ability to time travel, there is no physical way this is possible. I mean, sure, this was possible with Partners in Time, but we didn't see Daisy, like, the younger Daisy in that one. And I don't know whether or not she has made an appearance in any game besides this, this one. The nin nin Nintendo are just... Nintendo are playing a very tricky game, those bastards. Oh, uh, no. Wait. What is this? I'm looking behind me and... Can you see that? You'll see it soon. No, no, get, get in the goal! My god, why didn't I look where I was going? But still, look at that. There is a logical time paradox there. See, Rosalina is just uh, is just below me in the rankings. Time paradox is illogical. By the way, if you know, if you have no idea who Rosalina is, she was introduced in Super Mario Galaxy, and and returned in Super Mario Galaxy 2 in the end. And oh wow, oh that is. This is all my wow for this. It just looks stunning, even though I haven't even begun. This ought to be fun. Going to the right, are we? Oh, that's nice. His statue actually points in the way we're going. With Bowser's Castle, there's always something unpredictable as well, so... Okay. I saw the track was warping, so I could jump on it and get a boost. Still, all my wow for this! The lava effects, the fireworks, the whole rock ballad! They've made Bowser's Castle beautiful! 
even though this is only installment number 8 in the series and there could be many more because Nintendo are brimming with possibilities. This looks like a great Bowser's Castle. Oh! Oh god! Laser statues, I remember those. Those tricksy bastards from the old games. What? I'm pretty sure that rock ballads are like the best type of song in any Nintendo game. Like, you saw me when I fought that seal in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, right? They played a rock ballad. And uh, that song sounds so orgasm worthy on the levels of badassness it has. It made the first boss look so much more better than it should be. Call him Pompey, call him Arp, Arp, I call him Arp, Arp, but whatever, that seal had a freaking amazing boss theme. It was a rock ballad. Oh god, oh god. Let's go. Let's just go get out of here. Oh, that statue only points to the right, does it? Okay. Good to know. It helps me learn the course better. I swear that pendulum is going to hurt if you touch it. Like, I have a hunch that all spiky pendulums will hurt when you touch them. Fine, I guess I'll go this way. See your sheer enjoyment. Oh god, no! Get out of my way, Luigi! Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I swear to god if Luigi takes over. I should have won. Seriously, I thought I was going to lose to Luigi there. That would have been a very stupid move on my part if I'd lost to him. Alright, finally Rainbow Road. Come on, Lin come on Nintendo, let's see what you've made it this time. I'm waiting. Okay, that actually looks, um, it's actually great that they have audience bleachers this time. But still, this is Rainbow Road, the final and most iconic course in any Mario Kart game. Unless it's Mario Kart Wii, because the Rainbow Road in that one was horrible, there were no walls and you kept falling off. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, Bloody red shells! The fucking asshole who fired that I'm gonna frickin' murder them! Oh god, they've brought the star... They've brought the star rings back. I remember those. Oh yeah, I, I, fi I don't think you heard it, but listen closely. You can hear some kind of cosmic tinkling noise when I'm grinding or just driving on these tracks in general. Mainly when I'm grinding. Okay. Wow. Rainbow Road. This is just my wow. It's definitely a lot better and a lot more manageable than it was in Mario Kart Wii. In my opinion, it just... I'm just awestruck by this. That was a pretty useless blooper, it didn't even do anything. I mean, sure it sprays more ink in the... Like, this thing sprays little to no ink, and I think that's good because in the other games it just covered your face and you couldn't literally see anything. So you had to rely on your seventh sense, your sixth or seventh sense, or how many other senses you have in your body. <laughs> because seriously, 
why do people only have five senses? If they have like, if they could have like many other senses that give them other not otherworldly powers, that would be awesome. Speaking of which, since every since every pony got a since the main six got a rainbow power in the season four finale, so did Kirby. Although Kirby's rainbow power is called Hypernova Kirby, and it makes him God in Pop Star. He's able to suck in like anything. He can eat trees for Christ's sake. Full grown living trees. And that is just my wow for Hypernova Kirby. And my wow for this, cause And my wow for Rainbow Power in general. Rainbows are no doubt one of the greatest things to ever come out of life. They're so eloquent, they're so mysterious. That wasn't though. <laughs> Look, even the minimap is rainbow colored. That's how good this is. Hard right. Hard left. I mean, hard left. Alright, here's the home stretch. Come on, guys. This is. Woo! And that is the end of Mario Kart 8. I hope you all enjoyed it and bunch of other crap. Basically, if you have 16 courses, they're going to be courses we've seen before in the past. But don't think it's over quite yet, ladies and gentlemen, because I will be doing the other cups, the nostalgia cups, for all you guys to enjoy and see what Mario Kart 8 has really done with them. <laughs> but still, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy this amazing end of cup presentation. That was brilliant. And there is my beautiful special cup. And another new character is mine. Actually, no, I'm not, because... Whenever I do post me verse, you guys can't see it, and... Alright, so that was the special cup, and next time I'll be throwing myself into the shell cup and all the courses from the old Mario Kart games. I look forward to that and see what they've done with the place. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. You should rate, comment, subscribe, all that nice, thank you, jazz, and goodbye for now.